and welcome, welcome to, to the, the show. show. Guess who's running for 2024 vice president? Oh, I wonder who. Me. Who else? Of course. But maybe we could at least talk to your competition. You can call them losers. Plus, elections are coming up, so we talked to a candidate and Stuco members to tell you what's going on. I am running for vice president of the senior class. Um, they're going. I don't know how it's going. It's just going. And then one thing I'm nervous about, nothing really, I'm going to be honest. I just kind of did this for fun. It's always fun to do something just for the fun of it, you know? Guess who's running for 2024 Stuco board? As what? B -b -b Bear Town. What's that? Oh, just school dances, only making the best there's ever been. I wonder how elections are going for everyone else. Stuco can be very, very stressful at times because some of our leadership is questionable and some of the people that are elected don't actually, don't actually work. So it can be very stressful at times. I don't think it's fair, like some of the requirements to require, oh my God, sorry. Some of the requirements to like elect or be like even on a ballot are kind of stupid because I feel like there's a lot of people that aren't in Stuco that should be, but they aren't like they aren't able to because they don't come to like a meeting. But at half the meetings, we're just sitting on our phones and we're not actually doing anything and it's not productive. So, yeah. I'm not much of a runner. I hate running personally. It's the worst. Did you know there's people who actually like doing that stuff? Yeah, and they're crazy. I think we should meet some of them. This month, Truman and Christman athletes competed in the Bill Summa track and field competition. Here's some more information from the coach and students involved. So what is Bill Summa? Uh, Bill Summa is the name of a former coach at Christman from the 1960s to the 90s, so like a 30-year career and social studies teacher at William Christman, and uh, just a legendary coach that affected a lot of uh, people in the community that still remember him, and he passed away this year. Uh, the meet and the track are already named after him, but uh, we were actually able to celebrate his life as well. Uh, this year, but so that's who Bill Sama is and it's just a large invitational track meet named in his honor now How is uh, Christman, how did Christman do with Bill uh, Christman did very well. We had some really notable performances uh, first and foremost probably Mele Tala uh, Breaking the school record in the javelin and getting third and just an un unbelievably stacked girls javelin um, And also second in the shot put and those are the same rankings she has in the state in those two events um, and then Dayton Hazlett running under 11 seconds in the 100 for the first time, running 10.92, and then also a nice time in the 200 of 22.30. Uh, and then we probably had another uh, 10 performances that made it in the top 10, and with 40-plus schools there, I thought that was an outstanding achievement to have kids finish in the top 10. What would you like the, tr um, the track athletes to take away from Bill Summer? Uh, I hope that the track athletes just saw the level of performances that some of the people around the state had that were at the meet as well, and just could be inspired by some of those performances and think about just the way those competitors carried themselves and then emulate some of those behaviors and try to, try to uh, get themselves to that level someday and just know that it's a process and it takes time. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the uh, No, just thank you to everybody that came out to the track meet and, and either you know, just supported as a fan or attended or helped or volunteered or took pictures or video or whatever the, the case may be, that all the things really mattered to make it a special event, so thank you guys. How was Bill Summit for you? Um, it was good. Uh, it was definitely a lot bigger than last year, um, it's not just on our part, but on the running part as well. How has Bill Summa helped you with other track meets? Um, having, like, being a part of a very big track meet, like Bill Summa, like 40 teams, um, it's like the anxiety that you get being around all those people, it simmers down once you get to a meet that has like 16 teams or like 30 less than Bill Summa did. How does it feel to break records for the track? Um, it felt good, especially since like the first time I broke the school record and then being able to over and over break my own records is, feels great. What do you think, or how do you think um, Bill Samba and the records, how do you think that's inspired you to, help, uh, to try your best in track? Um, both of them definitely made my track season a lot funner and it uh, just makes me want to work even harder and like break more records or it just helps me like feel like I set an example for future athletes that are going to be competing at Bill Summit. What are you most looking forward to for the rest of the season? Um, hopefully 
just having a lot of fun and being able to compete with my teammates and competing against people that are better than me. So was the Bill Sama race successful for you? I, I say I say it was because um I all because all they want from me is me try my heart out and I'm guessing um so that's all I gave them because I I did really good. What have you learned from the Bill Sama that's helped you with your track meets? Small um I think just be I'm just wanting to be at practice I'm just wanting to be at practice the probably the best way and um going to track meets and um having having faith in your coaches can really be the best part because. They they want to improve, they want to be they want to improve you as much as you want to improve yourself. So so I think that's the best. I think that's one thing I learned. How does it feel to break records for Christmas history? It feels it feels unbelievable. It feels unbelievable because I honestly didn't know I did until I just I just found it out. And it, it feels it feels really good too because I, I know since I break records I know I can go. I I feel like I can do a lot better. I don't know. I'm just really. It just feels, um, it's really unbelievable. I never knew I would be here. How does it feel or to win records? Like, how does that inspire you to, to do your best at the track meets? Um, I, feel, I, feel, I feel inspired by other people because I honestly feel inspired by other people since they're, not, um, since they're trying as hard as me. And they, um, they, they're not as fast as me. I feel like they inspire, um, they inspire me. Because they, they keep going, they um they're practicing every day, and so they're practicing every day. And I feel like me, like us being there, they um they they try as hard. And I feel like, like <sighs> um I feel like I feel like they inspired me to be there because the track the track team really inspired me to try try hard and um get my heart out. So the Bill Summer Meet was last Saturday, and honestly, it was really cool. It was really cool that the fact there was like so many schools there from like so many, from like I think four states in total. And so it's a pretty big meet, and it, there's great competition. Uh, just like looking around, I saw like kids breaking like meet records like constantly. There was one girl who broke her record from last year in the 100, 200, 400. I saw a guy throw a shot put 19 meters in the air. Two guys go 57 and 56 in Javelin. So, I mean, the competition was so good, and I'm really excited for next year's. Good shot and discus. Um, I got first in shot and then third in disc. I was really nervous about shot because I like try to do my best. And um, disc was, it was far away, and I was kind of tired. So, yeah. You know what I do love? No, what? The yeah, 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 book! Oh my gosh, me too. When can we start buying them? I don't know, let's ask. This year's yearbook is officially finished. We talked to some of the staff to see how the production went. This is what they had to say. How has this year's yearbook production been? Uh, it's been good. My first year as a yearbook teacher, um, a lot of the staff's first time being like editorial staff, uh, you know, having a lot of responsibility. It was. You know, learning curve for all of us, but I really like the end result. They like the end result. Uh, so I really think that's all that matters. And I think that once it gets out to everybody else, that they'll enjoy it too. Are you proud of all the work that's been done so far? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm proud. I mean, I, I had less than 10 people on staff all year when we managed to get it done. And in years past, there's been, you know, 30, 40, 50 people doing the yearbook. And so I'm, you know, there were nights where we, I think on a couple deadline days, we were here until 6.30, 7 o'clock. So, I mean, they were dedicated to getting it done, and I'm definitely proud of the work that they put in to um, make sure that they wanted, make sure that they got the result that they wanted to get. What is the theme for this year's yearbook? Uh, the theme for this year's yearbook is voices, uh, just, you know, uh, students expressing themselves through art, through, you know, sports, through extracurriculars. Uh, through their actual voices, you know, what they have to say, um, you know, just voices in general, you know, being expressive, not being, uh, you know, just cast as, you know, this type of person or that type of person. You really get to, you know, give your opinion and state your mind and feelings on things. How much are your books? Your books are $70. You can get them uh, through the My School Bucks portal or at Wallsworth at uh, yearbookforever.com. Those options will not be 
available at the end of the month and you can only get them in person. So if you want to get them online, it's easier to do it that way, do it that way. Why should people buy a yearbook? Uh, for the memories. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I bought a yearbook every year I was in high school. They were a little less expensive back then, inflation. Um, but, you know, it's good to see how you evolve over the course of, you know, four years or how, you know, your friends or the school or the sports and uh, all that stuff changes. And so I think it's, I think it's neat and unique to, to see, you know, the evolution of things over time. How has this year's yearbook production been? I think it's been good. I think we have some room for improvement. Um, we have a new teacher, so we're all just kind of figure out, figuring out like how to work out the kinks with e within each other and like, you know, like how to pr make a productive thing without falling behind. Like this year, we kind of fell behind a little bit. So um, I would say it was good just me to work a little harder. Are you proud of the work that's been done? I'm actually very proud of it. I think that um, I think we really worked together and played on everybody's ideas to make something that we really love. What went into choosing the theme? Um, well, we wanted to make sure that we incorporated more of a student influence because it is a student publication. So we tried to really focus on having students be really like involved in it so we we played with the feet like the colors of the school and then like that idea and kind of mushed it together why should students buy your books um i think they should buy your books because it's just a way to keep your memories um from high school um you can see especially if you are in an activity yourself you can see like that into the yearbook and like it's like a photo book like like a memory book so yeah. How has this year your book production been? Um, it's been really good actually. We've had a small staff, but we've had a lot of people <laughs> who joined in very last minute. Um, and it's been a lot of help. Like I'm one of the people who joined second semester only and I mean I can't speak for myself, but I think they've appreciated getting some more people for some more help because it's really hard to do it with such a small group. But are you proud of any of the work that's been done? Oh absolutely. We all work our butts off dude because there's only so Little, there's only a few of us that do it all together. We're always so proud of each other whenever we like create a new design or we finally meet a deadline or we get something done or like we stay after school long times. Um, sometimes there was one night we were here till like 7.15, dude. But it was worth it because we got everything turned in on the deadline day, so. What went into picking the theme of the yearbook? I wasn't um, there whenever they picked the yearbook theme because that was first semester, but I've heard them talk about it and um, it was more of a sense that we wanted the yearbook to focus on students and their lives and their activities and their involvement in the school this year instead of just how the school did or like what the staff did or you know like how we did as a student body but specifically on the students and their opinions and their views. Why should students buy your books? Um, because it's fun. It's fun to like have that memorabilia and like actually hold a copy of it in your life for however long you keep it. And it's just fun to see all the hard work that your peers did and all the things that you were involved in and all the things that they were involved in and like all the little stories and all the pictures. The pictures are my favorite. I love the pictures and I love taking them and I love putting them in because they're so cute. So it's just fun and it's a cool thing to have. What does the theme mean to you? To me, it means that um, we get representation. This, the theme is student voices. And so it means that we like in a different form because sometimes it's usually just one-on-one -on -one that we get representation through our voices but to have like a whole a whole book a whole thing like focused mainly on students and their voices in the school is just really cool to me because it makes me feel like special and makes me like feel happy for my peers and stuff that they get to feel special and they get to feel like their voices are heard too and that concludes the sh -sh -sh show thanks for watching go, go buy your yearbooks, yearbooks and, and vote for us, for us.